What is an IRS Form 1099-G and what is it used for? If you want to know the answer to these questions and more, keep watching. We're eForms, the world's largest online database of fillable legal forms, and we're here to simplify business, taxes, and more. To get started filling out your own IRS Form 1099-G, click the link in the description below. IRS Form 1099-G, also known as a Certain Government Payments Form, is a tax document a government agency uses to report subsidy payments such as unemployment compensation made to a taxpayer. It's important to make sure this is filled out accurately or there is the possibility of penalties. In this video, we'll cover who uses a 1099-G, the differences between a 1099-G, a 1099-MIS, and a 1099-NEC, deadlines, and more. Who uses a 1099-G and where do I get one? An officer or employee of a federal, state, or local government agency completes and files Form 1099-G, then mails copies of the completed form to the IRS and the taxpayer whose income is being reported. It's important to check carefully, especially in Box 1, that the form is accurate. There have been cases where scammers have figured out how to file false claims. If you find something that doesn't look right, you can report the fraud, which is also filed with the IRS. We just went over what a 1099-G is and who uses it, now let's go over its common uses. A certain government payments form is used for unemployment compensation, tax refunds, state and local, tax credits or offsets, state and local, reemployment trade adjustment assistance payments, taxable grants, agricultural payments, and commodity credit corporation loans. Now what are the filing deadlines? The deadline for sending Form 1099-G to a taxpayer is January 31st, the year after the payments were made. Completed forms must be filed with the IRS by February 28th and by March 31st if filed electronically. Now what's the difference between a 1099-G, a 1099-MIS, and a 1099-NEC? 1099 forms are a category of forms used to report other types of income that are separate from those someone would earn if they were full-time or part-time employees. The 1099-G is used to report monies received from the government like unemployment and tax refunds. The 1099-MIS reports things like rent, royalties, prizes, fishing boat and crop insurance proceeds, awards and others. The 1099-NAC is used to report payments over $600 to freelancers, independent contractors, consultants and others. We have videos breaking down each of these other forms as well, which we've linked in the video description below. Before we go, let's quickly go over how to file. Step one, obtain the form. The form can be obtained through the IRS or by clicking the link below, which will lead you to a downloadable packet. Step two, send a copy to the recipient. A copy of the 1099-G must be sent to the taxpayer whose income is being reported. They don't have to attach it to the return, but simply confirm that the numbers match on their own return. Step three, file with the IRS. Forms can be filed through a private delivery service by mail or electronically. Step four, retain a copy. Copies should be kept on file for at least three years. If you're ready to start creating your own IRS Form 1099-G, click the link in the description below. On our page, you'll find a form to download as well as a detailed breakdown on the whole process. We're eForms, the world's largest online database of fillable legal forms, and we're here to help you simplify everything business, legal, taxes, and more. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more helpful content.